so many times when I sit down to do these videos, I want to say it's that time of the month again. But then I realized that sounds like I'm talking about my period. No, we're talking about empties and everything that I've stored up to show you guys for the month that I have used up and feeling of satisfaction in a box, you guys. We get to uh, go through these, see what I liked, what I would repurchase, what I wouldn't, and then we're gonna go ahead and chuck it in the trash. And that is the most satisfying part for me is that I got to use it completely up and I have a definite opinion on it, whether or not I'm going to go ahead and repurchase it. So we're gonna get into product empties right now. Okay, because there's so much here, you, you know the spiel, we're gonna go through it fairly quickly. Broken bottle, but this is the falling falling in love conditioner from Philosophy Beauty. Amazing fragrance, you guys. Of all their fragrances, this fragrance to me is the one that I love the most. If you've ever tr tried Trish McAvoy Number no. Nine uh, perfume, this is it in a conditioner or a fragrance. Now I will say that Philosophy's fragrance doesn't last anything like Trish McAvoy's, but if you put it in your hair's conditioner, you can have it there for a long time. And I really like getting like their body butters and their creams, not their lotions necessarily, because those have a tendency to go away in fragrance, but I do like those as well because they stay a long time. Gorgeous fragrance if I get the chance. Yes, I will repurchase the following Falling in Love scent but I don't feel like the conditioner was anything outstanding, so I probably won't do the conditioner. Used up some hairsprays this month. The Botifying Bamboo Fiber Full Big Hairspray from OGX. I love this stuff. It's so good in humidity. I actually have been kind of replacing this over my one that I absolutely have loved for like 20 years, which is the Kenra Volume Spray Super Hold Finishing Spray, number 25. This stuff makes it so you are not going to budge, but this one kind of does the same thing and yet you don't have to worry about your hair being too crunchy. So I do love both of these still. Yes, I will repurchase both of them still and I've repurchased them over and over again, but this one's a really good one that has come into my life within the past year. This one has been in my life for 20 years. So yeah, I got a new new love there yeah so that's the ones that i'm going to be repurchasing and then another hair product this is my big sexy hair extra volumizing shampoo from big sexy hair and um, you can see that it has a little bit of purple in the top right there i pour a purple shampoo in this um when, and i reuse this particular jug over and over again because i do like to have a purple shampoo in here i like to have a fortifying shampoo and i like to have volumizing I'm not asking a lot, but that's what I do is when I use this up a little bit, I will start to put other shampoos in here to mix it with the volumizing one so I can get the shampoo that I really want instead of having to have three or four bottles that um, you know I'm trying to juggle in the shower and slip and fall and cr crack my neck or crack my, crack my head open or whatever, you know how that goes. Okay, this one right here, this is from Sol de Janeiro. This is the Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance Mist. I had this for such a long time and I'll tell you why. First of all, love the fragrance. Just like, it's just like the Bum Bum Cream. It has that same exact tropical beach fragrance, which I love, but it this doesn't last. So I'm not gonna repurchase it. I took such a long time to go through it because I was just feeling like, why even spray it? Because it just would dissipate within less than a half an hour to an hour. And so I wasn't really using it for a long time. Then I decided that I was going to start spraying it in my hair. Lasts a lot longer in your hair because your hair holds on to a lot of fragrances like clothing does. But I won't be repurchasing this. I wish that there was a stronger one that lasts longer. But I have heard that the one that they did develop for the fragrance doesn't last that long either. So I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens with that one. But I won't be repurchasing that one. Sorry about the noise. This is um, from Saint Tropez. This is a gradual tan plus sculpt and glow. And this says everyday multi-active tanning lotion. It's not sculpting. Don't feel like that. But it is a really good tanner for being a gradual tanner and it's a really great one for being even and it does come out in just white there isn't any color in there um, so you're not going to really be able to you know make sure that you're getting the most even tan but i found that if i put this on with a mitt it is so moisturizing and hydrating that it spreads across your skin even if you got it on dry skin like you're supposed to it spreads across your skin so nicely and gives you so much hydration and I do really like this one. I am going to be using a ton of other ones up, but I definitely would think about repurchasing this one. 
Um, I know that this is the plus one, so it had a little bit more um, tanning property in it or quicker tanning property in it than just using a reg regular gradual tanner. So if you're medium um, on up to deep, you might really, really like that one. This is a mini of the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I do love this. This is one that, yes, I will repurchase it. I do have a big one that I'm working on right now, but it's so hydrating and so nice. And so, yes, that is one that I will be repurchasing. And then I have, let's see, do I have any more hair products in here? This one is from Christoph Robin. This is a volumizing spray. I don't really like this. I feel like it weighed my hair down much too much. So I was just using it up to get rid of it. And actually when it got down to about here, because I got so tired of my hair feeling like it was weighed down, I actually poured the rest out. So I almost used that up, but it went in here so that I could tell you guys about it. If you have um, medium texture hair or curly texture hair, you might really like this, but because my hair is so fine and limp and straight, it was one that just, felt like weighed it down too much. So kind of passed on that one. And then of course my X lash, you guys, this is Holy Grail status again. I go through these tubes. A big tube like this is a double sized tube and it's what I get to get my extra long lashes. And I've had a couple of people ask me if I could do a whole entire video on this. I don't know if you guys wanna see that or not. This isn't exactly inexpensive, but it works out to be about $10 a month. And for me, lashes like this are worth $10 a month because I don't wear extensions. They don't stay on me. I don't have enough lashes when I do that. I feel like it damages my lashes anyway. And I can't wear falsies because my hands shake so bad I have that disability. And so wearing falsies is just out of the question for me. But if I can use this every night, I'm going to find that my lashes are just gorgeous. And this is going on the third year that I've used this. I, they originally sent it to me in PR, purchased it countless times after that. But again, this big one will last me about six months and it is $60. So you're looking at $10 a month for beautiful lashes. And to me, that is completely worth it. So let me know if you guys want to see a video on that one. Another loud sound again, excuse me. All right, whole lot of skincare in here. This is from Vichy or Vinci Labs. I don't, it's not got an N in it, so it's Vichy Labs. And this is their thermal mineral water. And I really like this. I love the delivery of it. I love how even it is and how light it is when it sprays and that it's a mineral water. But I got me a spray bottle that has a continuous mist and I pour mineral water in there. And that's what I use instead of this. And I feel like it is not only much more cost effective, but it's great for the environment because we're not wasting a bunch of cans like that. So uh, yeah, I liked it, but I won't be repurchasing it. And then we have a ton of serums, you guys. I tried from the Good Molecules. You guys, I love their line. But there are a couple things in there that I probably wouldn't repurchase. Not necessarily because they aren't bad, but because within their line I found some other stuff or in other lines I found other things. The hyaluronic acid, it was okay. It wasn't the greatest hyaluronic acid I've ever used. It wasn't the worst. But I didn't feel like it gave me super hydrated skin. So even though I love good molecules, I probably would pass with that one. And then their niacinamide serum, I probably wouldn't use, even though I love this. Again, the niacinamide was great in it. I did love it. But this is another empty that I have. And this is their niacinamide brightening toner. And this has licorice root, uh, alpha arbutin, and what is what else does it have in it? Um, I think it has, besides the niacinamide, I think it has vitamin C. All brightening, all of the things that help with your skin's tone, but the niacinamide in it clears out your pores so well and just refined my pores like nothing I have seen in a long time. So instead of purchasing the serum, I'm gonna continue to repurchase these bottles of the Good Molecules Brightening Toner. I love that stuff, you guys, it's so good. And then this one is a daily brightening serum. Again, um, it says it's formulated with Arbutin and hyaluronic acid to gently brighten skin's tone. And I don't feel like it's as good as this one either. So again, um, this is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. These are just kind of nice to have, but not necessary in my routine since I have this. And But what is necessary in my routine and what I do love over and over again is the buffet from The Ordinary. I think that the peptide serum in here is so good. 
and if you are on a budget and you're wanting something that is just full of really good peptides that are so good for anti-aging and do so many great things about um, keeping wrinkles at bay, doing all of the different things that peptides do as far as penetrating the skin and making it look brighter and more refined and all that, this is a great serum. However, I have been listening to Penny from Pensmith Skincare. She does like the copper one better, the copper peptides better. So I've been trying a different one. If you saw my video on essences, you'll know that I've been using Casa de Baja peptide serum. I think I like it a little bit better than this one even. So I'm going to wait and see over the long haul how Casa de Baja does, but so far it's doing fantastic on my skin. So those are some serums I used up. I also have another serum that I used up and I couldn't tell you where this one is from. This one is from Ella Frida and I liked it. It was great for a vitamin C serum. Um, it has vitamin C serum with hyaluronic acid. Loved the delivery system on it. It was really good. But I didn't notice a tremendous brightening effect any different than any other serum that, or you know vitamin C that I've ever used before. And I'm into another one. Again, if you saw that Essence video, I better throw that Essence video up here in a card so you guys can see if you saw the Essence video, you know what I'm using for vitamin C. So even though I liked it, I appreciated it, it just, it wasn't for me. So I do have two SPFs in here and both of them, I think I got the recommendation from Dr. Dre. This one is from altruist um, or dermatologist. I don't remember. I don't know what the actual name of it is, but it's an SPF of 50. And this one was supposed to be really good for dry skin. And I actually ordered this from the UK. It came with four tubes. And you guys, the minute I put this on, I knew it was bad. It was not going to be for me at all. And I tried so hard to make this work. This balls up so bad on my skin. I use quite a bit of um, SPF when I'm using it. I don't just use a little tiny dollop and, you know, work it in. But even if I did, this would still ball up. This is so bad. You guys stay clear of it. I couldn't even use it on my body. That's how bad it was because it would just get thick and then it would ball up and I'd be like, okay, now I got to go take a bath. And so no, that's just no good. But the Skin Aqua, this one is so good. This one is an SPF of 50 and it says plus, 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 plus on there. I don't know exactly how many pluses you need for it to be really good, but I love this. And this was one that I've already repurchased. And it is just beautiful under makeup, super hydrating. I love that. I have dry skin, so it is really good. I was using the Misha, um, I think it, theirs was their sun milk or something like that. If you have oily skin, that one is really good, but it had a little bit too much alcohol in it for me. But this one, definitely for dry skin has played so beautiful under makeup and I love it. And then I used up a couple of finishing sprays, Scandinavia, the makeup finishing mist, sorry. And then this one is from Wet n Wild. This is their natural setting spray. Okay. Natural finish setting spray. Excuse me. Okay. So I do like both of these. I love Scandinavia because you get so much in here and it does exactly just what the Urban Decay All Nighter does. I've heard over and over again that they're made in the same factory, pretty much made the same way, same formula, but this is so much cheaper when you go ounce for ounce. So I do love this. You do have to buy this usually um, off of their website. This is actually where I got this one from, but it has lasted forever. This is a huge bottle and it lasted a really long time and definitely will repurchase it. Now the Wet n Wild Natural Finish one, I'm kind of on the fence about this one. It's one that, first of all, it's a teeny tiny bottle. And even though it was only $5, if you look at it compared to this, it's like 1.67 ounces. You look at it compared to this, and I think this was 28. This is still a better value than getting it this way. So I think that for the value, it's not really for me and it really didn't work out that great. So just one of those things, another FYI. I have two products that were sent to me by Dr. Lily Fan, and these are eye products and they're probiotic um, formulas of some sort. The eye serum comes out in a very um, thin formula and then the cream is a little bit thicker, but not by much. And I did use these completely up didn't see any change in my eyes at all, you guys. However, they did sting the crap out of my eyes. Both of them did. And I actually, she actually sent me a couple other products. They all stung really bad. I don't know why. I don't normally have that issue with my eyes unless the Retin-A has really gotten to my eyes over a certain amount of time. But it didn't matter whether I used Retin-A or not. These stung the crap out of my eyes. So they're not ones that I'll be repurchasing, but I've heard other people say that they are like their holy grail, gotten rid of crow's feet, all that kind of thing. I didn't see it. So just my 
just my viewpoint on it. I missed a hair product. This is my minoxidil that I get. I get it in a set of three off of Amazon and this is from Kirkland. And this is a hair regrowth treatment that I've been using for probably about two and a half years now. It's the same as Nioxin, but at a fraction of the cost and there is a dropper that comes with it. It's in the new bottle, but you just use a dropper of it on your scalp. You're supposed to use it morning and night, but I only use it once at night. And I actually only use this one every other day because I need to wash my hair the next day usually because it's a little bit, um, for my hair, it's gonna weigh my hair down a little bit, but yeah, this is something that I repurchase oodles and oodles of times. This is a buxom lip gloss I used up, and this one is in Lavender Cosmo. Beautiful color, loved it. It was just the just a kind of a milky, pinky lavender color. I just thought it was so pretty. I love buxom uh, glosses. This is a number seven full 360 mascara that I loved. I it's a tubing mascara and I really did like this very much. My only thing, I loved the wand on it, loved the curve of it, loved the lasting power on it, loved how easily it came off, loved how it built my eyelashes up and how it looked on my eyelashes. Couldn't wear it on the underneath part because it didn't stay very well, but it dried out really quickly, like within six weeks and it didn't, you know, I mean, if you're gonna buy that big of a tube of mascara, who wants it to dry out in six weeks? Now, I am going to try this again though, because I loved how it did. And I'm wondering if I just got a tube that maybe was older. And so I just need to try another tube. I am gonna try this again and I will make sure I update you. And then this one came to me in a BoxyCharm such a long time ago. This is from the Brow Gal. And this is um, the Instant Brow Hair Tinted Brow Gel with Microfibers. I loved this specifically because of that teeny tiny little wand right there. It was so great. And I would just brush this through after I had, you know, kind of framed my eyebrows out with a pencil or whatever. And it did give it a little bit more volume because it did have the little fibers in it. So I do like that one a lot and will repurchase it if I, you know, I'm not trying other things all the time. Another lip product that I went through is from Tarte. And I don't know the name of this. Um, this is a berry color. I didn't like this at all, you guys. I This was one of the thinnest products that I've ever used. It doesn't stay on your lips. I ended up just using it as a balm at night before I went to bed and it would be gone by the time I got up to go potty in the middle of the night. So this is not one that I would recommend to you guys. And then I tried this mask, the super hydrating mask from e.l.f. Love this one. It's really, really good. Now, what they said was to put it on and wash it off. I didn't wash it off. I know that's probably bad but it was so nice and hydrating that I didn't feel like it clogged my pores or anything like that. And um, what I really loved it for, because I love having urea products on my face, I feel like they're so hydrating. I don't know if this has urea in it or not, I'm not saying that, but on the back of my hands at night, I would wake up and my hands would still be so moisturized and my fingers would still be so moisturized. It does the same thing on your face, it holds everything in but it's really, really good. So definitely can recommend that one. And I think that is it, you guys, that is it. I was doing a marathon talking as fast as I could to get through that fast, but I don't think I got through it fast enough. But so you guys kind of get a review on all of those products that I went through for the month. Thank you so much for being with me. I know that these are trying times and I know that everybody's having a hard time, but maybe to see some stuff that people are using up kind of helps you to decide how the best way to save your money is and be able to invest in something that you know you're going to enjoy. So I hope that you're all having a good day. Please take care of yourself. Stay safe, stay sanitized. I love you very much. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye you guys.